we'll start with uh, some some examples and, and obviously get a just a, a bit of a feel for really what's included in in uh, in great treasures. Uh, starting off, who was Rabbi David Oppenheim, and what was included in his library and Judaica collection? So Rabbi David Oppenheim was uh, he lived from 1664 to 1736. He was a great Talmud Chacham. He was the chief rabbi of Prague, which was like one of the uh, most important, if not the most important community of, of the time in Europe. And he was, in addition to all the other, uh, his, his many, many attributes, he also happened to be very well politically connected and also financially connected. He had a very wealthy uncle uh, who he inherited a large library from, and he, and as, as well as great wealth that uh, he inherited from him, as well as marrying uh, into wealth. So, and he used that money besides for charitable purposes. He also used it to enlarge his uncle's library. He was a bibliophile. He spent a lot of time gathering, collecting manuscripts, illustrated uh, manuscripts, uh, very rare works, and he collected them. Eventually, he moved them out of Prague because he was afraid of censors coming and confiscating it to where his uh, his, his his uncle, or rather his father-in-law, lived. And, uh, and he spent a lot of time on the road just going back and forth visiting those precious books. Those books uh, were subsequently purchased. That library collection was purchased by Oxford in 1829. And it's still intact at the Bodleian Library in Oxford. Uh, a person would be able to go and, and visit those books. I have never had the good fortune of doing so. But the entire library, you could find itemized online um, and you can actually visit it and uh, and see these books personally uh, but suffice it to say you know the, these books have been a, a treasure for the Jewish people they are uh, they are they provide for us manuscripts that we would not have in any other way and some of them are very beautiful manuscripts very ornate and uh, and it's uh, it, it was uh, this is one of the legacies of Rabbi Oppenheimer perhaps one of the most Famous parts of his life was his library that still exists till today. 